Okay, so this could be one of my noisier videos this morning. Um, first of all, happy Easter everyone. Um, we've been invited out to lunch today, family lunch. So, as you can see, Mrs T has been busy yesterday making a bread and butter chocolate pudding. Bread and butter, chocolate, chocolate, bread and butter pudding. That's right. There we are. So... I've been left in charge to bake that off now, but first of all, as he comes behind the camera, she's also made a lemon meringue pie, or lemon meringue tart, whichever you want to call it. So she made the pastry, made the lemon meringue fill in yesterday, guess what I've got to do? I've got to make the meringue. So like I say, this could be a noisy little video this morning, but it shouldn't take too long. So, in here I've got five egg whites, and as a rule, it is two ounces of sugar to every egg white for your meringue. So, there's ten ounces of sugar there, and again, it's not caster sugar. I don't use caster sugar, this is granulated sugar. Works exactly the same. So, this is the noisy bit now. So I'm going to start whisking the egg whites up first. Obviously there won't be a lot of talk in here because there's no point in doing that. So just watch how easy it is to me. Alright. Go so on the top of the lemon pie. I hope you're enjoying these videos. And I will make plenty more for my, my YouTube if nobody watches them, they don't watch them. If they do, they do. I know I got one fan, Mr. Felstead. So, this is far easier if you have um, a standalone mixer with a balloon whisk. And obviously you won't have to do all this work, but as you can see, with a hand hand with it's working just as well it's okay we've got the eggs nice and fluffy now and the sugar this recipe calls for half the sugar to be mixed in and half to be folded uh, I've never ever folded sugar into a meringue so I'm just going to whisk it in so you just pour the sugar really slowly because you don't want to collapse everything by chucking it in fast so here we go Just go dump in the sugar and just sprinkle it in in my bit. Feed it picking it up already. Yeah, get it nice and thick. And I'm even gonna treat you to some pipe in. There you go, all the sugar is in. Whisking it now. And you can see it's starting to trails in the meringue now. Yeah. So just 
Sorry about the noise, I mean, could be a noise. Man. There we go. I know the old test is thrown it over the head, but... Uh, let's have a look. Yep, that's pretty good. No, it's not coming out. No, it's not coming out. Ooh, no, it's not coming out. Right, okay, so we'll discard the mixer. And the next thing is red plastic scotch. Star nozzle. Star nozzle, yeah. And a piping bag. So, you get to see a little bit of piping today as well. The over your hands. Fill the piping bag. As much as you can handle in it. Boom, boom, boom. He's making a mess. Here we go. One more. So let's bring in the tart. Put that over there. Put it and uh, there we go. And all we want to do is this. And you see it's leaving lovely lines in it now. So you know lovely lines when you bake it off. Oh Mrs. T will be impressed. Make sure you cover all the lemon with the meringue. And we're going to be a little poncy now, as Simon Rimmer would say, and put a bit more meringue in the piping bag, and we'll do a couple of swirls. So easy, isn't it? There we go. Uh, it, it. A bit there. There you go. Just wash my hands a minute. Hope you're all still with me. And as you can see, we find a tray now. We're about to put more fat. One piped lemon round pie on the tray and at 200 degrees in for I think it's 35 minutes I'll check that now Mrs T has left me strict instructions as usual clean up your mess and I'm going to uh, pipe the little um, meringues onto a tray and bake those off so none of it will go to waste hope you enjoyed that one that was another ooh, 8 minutes 42. Okay then, see you soon. Bye now.